That looks like a weak-ass jump kick from one of the Street Fighter games, but obviously it wouldn't be from Chun-Li, because she got those thick-ass, meaty old legs. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is just a quick rant review for Kanye West's new track, Facts. And right from the start, I just gotta say, I haven't been overly impressed with what Kanye did in 2015. He did have a couple of alright tracks, All Day was cool for what it was, and Only One was a nice dedication to his daughter, but he didn't really come with anything that blew me away and had me feeling like Kanye West is back in top form, about to take over the game. So, I'm not even really excited about Swish anymore, his upcoming album, whenever that's supposed to come out. But obviously I'll check it out because everybody pays attention whenever Kanye drops because, hey, he's put out some of the greatest hip-hop of all time, if you ask me. But this song right here, Facts, is one of the worst things I've ever heard from Kanye. And I know this is probably just him having fun. It sounds like something that he just kind of rushed together, especially because you can hear the recent references to Steve Harvey fucking up at the Miss Universe pageant. And he talks a little bit about Kim's Kimoji app, which just made crazy millions, and I don't understand that shit at all, but the fact that they were able to make money off something so stupid like that, that in itself is impressive. But let me talk about the production here a little bit before I go further into what he's saying on the song. It really just sounds like a knockoff of the Jumpman beat. A lot of people were saying that it was the Jumpman beat, but it's not. If you listen to both tracks, you can tell it's different, but they are very similar, so it's easy to see how some people could make that mistake. It's just some basic trap production from Metro Boomin and Southside. And on the hook, Kanye actually borrows from the Jumpman song's flow. So there's another thing that makes it sound even more like a Jumpman reference track. And I'm not even saying like Jumpman reference track is in it references Jumpman. It almost just sounds like a reference track for What a Time to Be Alive, as if he just wrote this shit and was like, here you go, this would fit in right on the end. Just a Kanye West song thrown on What a Time to Be Alive or written for somebody else. Obviously not because of the lyrics that Kanye's saying, but you get what I mean, damn it. It sounds like What a Time to Be Alive. Now, as for other content, this is kind of like a Nike diss song, because Kanye spends a lot of the song talking about how great his shoe line is doing, and he also tells Nike that they would be nothing without Drake and shoe designer Don C. So, I thought it was pretty interesting for a rapper to make a diss track towards Nike, not another artist. And I know this song is just Kanye celebrating the year he had. I don't think it's anything too serious. It probably won't be on an album. It's just something fun he dropped, probably to get us talking and to put his name out there. So I get all that. A lot of people were hitting me up on Twitter saying, Come on, man, don't take it that serious. It's just Kanye having fun, representing, blah da 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 And I do get all that. I completely understand where you guys are coming from. But it doesn't really make the song any better. To me, this is not what I want to hear from Kanye West at all. And he did put it out there, so obviously we're going to talk about it, and we're going to have opinions on it, which is why I give this one a 2 out of 5. There were a little bit of funny lines, like I thought the whole thing about dissing Nike, like I mentioned, was kind of funny, and there were some clever tidbits here and there, but overall this wasn't much of a great song. I just sat there listening to it, and I was like, what is this shit, man? I do not want to hear this from Kanye West. I want to hear some more game-changing, interesting sounds. But again, this might have just been something he dropped to get us talking, because he did drop only one last year on New Year's Eve, so maybe this is going to be a little bit of a tradition for Kanye. But that's just what I thought about this track. Hit me up in the comments section and let me know what you guys think. And as usual, make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man. Where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. We're getting closer and closer to 10,000. And once again, there will be an FAQ done once we hit that mark. So Happy New Year, everybody. I wish you all the best for 2016. And hopefully I can get my top 10 list out soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys next time.